Hi, this is Steve, and today I just want to show you uh, what happened to the goji berries. I promised that I would do a video on the black goji berry and how fast it can grow in the aero garden as opposed to uh, in regular soil. So a lot of times people plant a seed in soil and it takes a while to come up. And if you are planting a black goji berry by seed, then uh, this might be one of the faster ways to get it going. Um, because I've tried a few different ways to do goji berries, just the regular goji berries, and they take off incredibly fast as well. So these got really bushy and started looking good pretty fast. So in four weeks to go from a little tiny seed, I mean, they are small, hugely small, um, or I should say super small. And uh, anyway, so I planted them in the arrow garden and these are the results of what they look like in about five weeks. At four weeks, they are pretty good size, but they're starting to, um, you know, Get a little bit taller uh, a little faster um, right now that they're hitting the light so it'll be interesting to see what happens in the next like three or four weeks before they get put out in may okay so here's the uh, goji berry that is the bushiest plant and it's actually getting um, pretty awesome looking and it's growing little thorns and I thought the thorns were kind of soft they were a few days ago and they're actually getting a little spiky so um, I'm sure it'll be fun to try picking these when that happens but I've got uh, six of these that I grew in the arrow garden and I was thinking like well I want a whole lot more than that so I actually um, modified my cloner to actually handle more of the goji berries at one time. So I've got 19 goji berries in the cloner right now. So this is to say I'm not cloning the goji berries, but what I'm doing is I'm putting them in a cloner. I've cored out the spongy tabs that go in the top of the cloner, and I've cored them out just big enough to put the cocoa fiber that goes with the aero garden and just have sunk those in and it seems to work pretty well but they need to be dipping into the water a little bit um, because the cloner is not delivering quite as much water as i want to so it's a nice experiment in trying this and uh anyway these plants are rocking and rolling they're doing pretty well and um, i will be having some of these for sale i've got a whole new uh, batch that i'm starting and I also have all the ones in the cloners and I'm gonna start uh, several in there too. So I should have about 40 of them ready before too long. So if you want any black goji berries, uh, make sure you send me a message and um, you know I can tell you the cost for them and where to get them on the website. So I hope this is informative for you. And, and these are doing awesome. So. I can't wait to see what they're going to do throughout the year, how tall they're going to get. I guess they take a little while to turn into a good sized bush, but we'll see uh, what they do and I can keep you updated and make another video on this before too long. And my regular goji berries are doing pretty well out in the greenhouse right now. Um, so they're actually leafing out and they're probably f much farther along than they would be uh, if they were outside because my goji berry that's probably about four or five feet tall right now outside is just starting to have little tiny leaves on it. The one in the greenhouse is going nuts. So I hope you enjoyed this video and hope to see you soon. All right, have a great day.